Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on a way to select multiple characters like this. So when I, uh, if I click somewhere else, I can deselect. And if I click, I can select. And if I click another one, I can select, but the first one will be deselected. But if I press shift while doing the selection, while I click it, I can select multiple characters. And then I can give them commands to go to locations like simultaneously like this so yeah that's what I'm gonna work on today so in this current system we have we can select uh, only one actor at a given time we don't have the ability to select multiple characters so that's what we are going to work on today instead of selecting one character uh we should be able to select multiple characters perhaps with like when i press click with shift pressed i should be able to select uh another character and command them to move uh, at the same time okay so for that first let me go to the player controller and the character selection happens this way I have this register actor function event where that is called when I click on one of these characters event actor on clicked so this is this is where I call on the player controller using the BPI player controller interface I call register actor so there I select this given selected actor reference as the selected actor variable. Now what I want to do is instead of uh, having one variable, I'm going to change this into an array so that we should be able to support multiple selected characters simultaneously. So first I'll change this to an array. Uh, we should get errors yeah so here what I have to do is get the selected actor I'll do add unique so when I select another actor instead of adding instead of setting as the only selected actor I'm gonna add this to this uh, at the actor this this selected actor array I already have it selected actors because there can be multiple and the reason I'm using add unique is because if I try to select the same actor twice that should not be added into this array twice so right now here when we just left click we need to deselect all the actors but here what I'm doing is what I should do is break this and run a for each loop and call deselect and then after that I need to clear this okay so let's make it work with the array then let's see how to add multiple characters in the same time so all right here what I was checking is if I had a valid actor now what I have to do is um, we can check length to see if we have selected actors and if the length is larger than zero that means we have selected actors so branch so this is just for the system that we implemented to show a knife when we have selected an actor to show that we can attack right where else we use it here 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 and move to all right so now instead of this just like before we should run a for each row and 
call this motor function and this should be disconnected this should be shown this is pawn location this fx cursor should be so shown at the end when this part is completed all right First here. Actors. Hmm. Okay, now let's see if the things are still working. Yeah, this seems to work. But still, we don't have a way to select multiple characters. Okay. All right. Now, in this input actions, I'll add a new input action. Input, input action. I, a, uh, what should I call this? Oh, I don't have a name. Let's just call it shift. And it should be this digital ball. Now, here, I'll add that I a shift, input action shift, and I'll assign left shift for that. Now, in the top down controller, so here I deselect all the characters. When I click somewhere else, so now what I'm gonna do is here yeah, let's have a branch and check if I a shift is pressed. If it is pressed, we are not going to deselect. If it is not pressed, we are going to deselect. Right now, here yeah. now if I select one and click somewhere else, it's gonna get deselected but now I am pressing shift you can't see what I'm pressing and if I click somewhere else it's not gonna get deselected if I release and click it's gonna get deselected and let me select this guy and shift click this guy now see all of them are selected and if I right click somewhere else see all of them are trying to go to that location so it's kind of getting messy because they are trying to go to the same location but i think uh, we should give some more acceptance distance where is it where the move to here yeah go to is implemented in the character so acceptance radius is 5 um, let's add another acceptance radius parameter by default I'll make it 20 and let's connect it like this now here this is 20 so i'll multiply this array index by 10 let's say oh maybe not 10 20 And place it so they should not like collide on each other to reach the same position well they still try I think they are wait Oh, 
we get zero for this so let's add one here and instead of 20 let's try 50 Doesn't seem correct. Do we get a wrong radius here? Let's print and see what do we get. So I'm going to stop this episode here. Next time I'm go I'm, I want to work on how to select this uh, box selection. So this is actually an editor, but I want to do this in the runtime like this. When we drag the mouse, we should see a box and we should be able to select all the characters within that box. That would be the next point. Alright, so thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download. In the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Craft. See you in another episode. Goodbye.